Well, so in this video, let us solve problems based on mean of group data by step deviation method. So we've got a question here which says apply step deviation method to find the AM, which is arithmetic mean of the following frequency distribution. So this is the frequency distribution. The radiate is X. The frequency is F. So we need to first get the assumed mean. So let's take the assumed mean is something in between. Let's take it 25 and we and remember this is step deviation method. So we need to assume another thing which is H which is going to divide the deviations, right? So let's take that as 5 approximately because it seems like if the if assumed mean is 25, you know, everything the deviations are going to be in multiples of 5, right? So that's why we are taking H is 5. So now let us uh, construct the table. So first we've got the variate which is xi which is xi so we've got what 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 and 50 right and then we've got the frequency Frequency is Fi, where 5 is 20 and 10 is 43, then 15 is 75, and then 20 is 67, 25 is 72, 30 is 45, and 35 is 39, 40 is 9, 45 is 8, and 50 is 6. Well, so that's covered there and next we've got the deviations right the deviations how much is it going to deviate the assume mean is 25 so xi minus 25 is the deviation so it's going to be 5 minus 25 is minus 20 then we've got minus 15 then we've got minus 10 we've got minus 5 and 0 at one point then we've got 5 10, 15, 20, and 25. Because 50 minus 25 is 25. And then now we've got this new term, right? Which is ui, which is nothing but di divided by h. So on a minus 20 will get divided by 5. Everything will get divided by 5. Because, you know, it's going to make the calculations that much more simpler. So this is going to be minus 4, this is going to be minus 3, this is going to be minus 2, minus 1, 0, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then finally, we've got fi, ui. The easiness will really show here when you add, you know, when you take the sum of fi, ui. Because fi, di would have been already 20, 20, it'll be 400. And then when you have to add all those things, well, now it's going to be a little simpler. 20 into minus 4 is minus 80. Then it's minus 129, it's minus 150, minus 67 next, and then 0. And then you've got 45, and then you've got 78, then you've got 27, then you've got 32, 8 times 4 is 32, 6 times 5 is 30. So here we are. So the table is constructed. So now let me, you know, just make it easier for you to look into it. And what we need is we need the sum of the frequency for 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 n right so that's going to be how much it's going to be 384 and then we need the sum of this one right so this is going to be negative 214 so now all that we have to do is substitute in the formula which is x bar equals a plus h times 1 by n summation of f i u i so we've got assumed mean is 25 and then h is 5 and then we've got 1 by n is 1 by 384 times negative 214 right so now by calculating this we can cancel 5 5 goes 35 24 and then 4 times 74.8 so 74.8 goes 2.786 times, negative 2.786 times. So we have 25 minus 2.786, which is equal to 22.214. So therefore, 
the mean of the given frequency distribution by the method of step deviation method is found to be 22.214. The only difference between this and the shortcut method is that, you know, we had a new term which is h and then ui as a result of h because when the di was divided by h, that was called as ui. So this may need to make the arithmetic more easier for us. That's all. There's not much difference between the shortcut method and the step deviation method otherwise. So this ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with problems and concepts based on mod of grouped data.